Hi everybody, it's Claire from Art Journal Love with another project for graphicsarts.com. So you can head to their website for more inspiration from other artists and ideas for uses of their products. In this project, I have worked in the mixed media journal, the 6x6. I've used some graphics opaque black Duralar, excuse the spelling mistake, sorry about that, uh, bright, the graphics double tack film and the graphics chipboard. So working in the uh, mixed media journal from graphics, I'm going to be using the two uh, black pages in there. So they are the opaque black Jura Bright pages. I'm going to be popping them out because I want to create a pocket with a window. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is just trim maybe a couple of inches, maybe two and a half inches off the right hand side. I don't generally uh, measure very often so um, yeah I um, I kind of wing it a little bit so you can see here I was just popping that bottom sheet back in and then I decided I was going to cut a window in this uh, top piece I've left about um, half an inch around the edge and I've gone about just over halfway up the piece of Jura Bright um, black plastic and I've just cut a square shape into this piece and then I'm going to lift that bit out. You'll be able to see I've left a border around the edge. So what my idea here is to add some transparency behind. So for the transparency, I'm using a piece of Dina Wakely Media transparency. I love these, um, the new set that she's released with the typography on there. Um, it makes a really nice uh, little window and it kind of gives an idea about what's behind you could easily create your own transparencies using um, graphics uh, they've got lots and lots of clear film plastic films that you can use and there are ones that are um, made to accept ink as well so um, you can see I'm just trimming it to size and then I'm going to start fixing my pocket together so for this I'm just going to use the Tim Holtz tiny attacher um, because it's a nice and quick way to just fix those bits together. If you are not really into staples, then you could use a bit of glue. You could um, use some double sided tape. Anything like that would work. You could even punch holes and kind of stitch around the edge of your pocket, too. So this is um, some collage paper that I have stuck onto some double tack um, archival film from graphics and um, this creates uh, papers into stickers because it's, it's sticky on the back so um, as long as you stick your pieces on the right way <laughs> you will get the sticky bit on the side that you want um, and here I'm just using some pieces of um, collage paper to create some um, bits of interest on my pocket so you'll notice as well that the piece at the front, the front of the pocket, I've just cut a little bit shorter than the back. Um, that's going to allow me to pop a little tag in and out of there. So I'm just cutting some shapes out and cutting them freehand because I quite like that loosey-goosey style. I'm not really bothered about my circles being perfect. And here I'm going to put a circle so that when the tag is out of the pocket, which I'm going to create in a little bit, this will look like a complete um, circle and it will kind of not it'll disguise that pocket really and um, then I'm just going to cut a few more circles out and pop those onto the front of my pocket then to bring a bit of contrast onto that black plastic the black craft plastic that comes in the craft journal I am going to add a little bit of stamping using some white um, acrylic paint that I've just watered down a little bit and this is just a text stamp to pop some marks on there okay so next I'm grabbing the graphics chipboard and I am going to cut a tag out of this to go in my pocket I roughly measured the size of my pocket and then cut the tag to that width and then I've added the hole at the top and the two tapered corners as well now I'm painting them with black gesso this is a black gesso from Dina Wakely Media I'm going to paint both sides of it um, this is just going to give me that lovely matte background for the elements that I'm going to add onto my tag 
So again, here I'm using some of the collage paper that has been backed using the double tack archival film. So that creates that sticky background, um, means there's no need to get any glue out and it keeps my creating quite neat um, and not messy. Um, so once I've stuck that in place, I'm then going to add some mark making using some acrylic paint just to add some other flashes of colour onto my tag. Now I'm just adding some marks and just outlining those shapes using a couple of sketchy lines using a black paint pen just to kind of pull those into the foreground a little bit as well. Um, and the blacks are really nice against that um, bright orange too. Um, and now I've done that, I am going into one of the collage soup uh, collage books. There's some fabulous images in these and I'm just grabbing one that's going to work on my tag. I think I've chosen quite a cool looking cat. There he is. And I'm going to be sticking him onto the bottom of my tag. I felt that he kind of disappeared straight onto the background. So I'm going to stick him onto a corner of this white paper. Um, this is just ordinary white printer paper. And um, I'm going to then cut him out so he's got a small border around the edge and um, this is just going to help to pull him out of the background because he's quite dark and my tag the background on my top tag is also quite dark he kind of disappears a little bit so I am going to be able to make him stand out as you can see there he's got that white border around which helps to pull him out from the background and um, then I added some mark making using some white pen I'm adding some recycled sari ribbon into the top of the tag just to add a bit of interest up there um, which means that's going to kind of stick out to the top of my journal when it's in the pocket. Um, I've added a quote from the Art by Marlene um, sticker book as well and then I'm just going to carefully slot him into the pocket and you can see you get a little glimpse through that transparency window to the pocket behind. So there we go, that's the finished project, um, the first of my pages in this new uh, mixed media journal, the 6x6, six six. it's a size that I really, really like. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. If you want more inspiration, you can head to the graphicsarts.com website for more inspiration and ideas from other artists on their blog. Um, thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.